here and welcome back today we have two of our i guess the amongst the best assassins within their respective comic book universes we have deadshot versus bullseye so um let's just get straight into this uh intelligence while bullseye is known to be a gifted intellect it does say that his intelligence on is a two on the seven point scale which puts him at the bottom uh, while with Floyd Lawton, he does have mechanical engineering uh, knowledge, as well as multilingual, uh, not multilingual, everyone, most people in comics have, are somewhat multilingual. Um, and aviation, actually, is something to be considered. So, I mean, they're both not considered geniuses by any stretch of the imagination. But based on what I see, I'd have to go with, with that shot. Fighting ability... Holding out against Deathstroke. Now, I guess how Deathstroke is written nowadays, that makes sense. I'm not a fan of it, considering who Deathstroke is, but it is what it is. Someone who can go with Deathstroke versus someone who... Uh, uh, Deathstroke... Is, is they say Deathstroke's a master martial artist. He's got a 5 out of a 7-point scale. So... Again, I know I'm going to probably get some flack for this, but I have to give it to Deadshot. If you can hold your own against Destro, come on. Realistically, out of all the characters in Marvel who are around a metahuman, who has Bullseye been able to hang with? No one, at least from what I know, but that's not saying much. But the point is, based on what I see, because if it said that Bullseye could hang with someone like Captain America or Wolverine, it would have stated that. Uh, strength. Bullseye is an Olympic level athlete. Deadshot is in peak human. So, I'd have to give that to. I mean, again, it all depends on perspective, but peak human in uh, DC is beyond Olympic level. So, I'd have to give him the edge on that. Speed, it's the same thing. Uh, durability. Well, this is Bullseye without Animantium. So, um, durability, uh, it doesn't necessarily even mention that, I mean, again, if Deadshot had armor, I would probably, I, I, again, I know dur armor is usually part of invulnerability, but it also does extend to your durability too, right? So, I would have to give a slight edge in durability. As well as in vulnerability, but when it comes to energy, when it comes to these final three categories, I'd have to say it goes to Bullseye. Why do I say it's Bullseye? Because Bullseye can turn any object, no matter what it is, into a weapon for killing. Deadshot only has guns. Deadshot, from what I understand, only has guns. But someone who can use any weapon around him, any object around him, as a weapon to kill you. Yeah. I would say, in terms of energy production, as much as Bullseye might not have much in the way as uh, weapons, in terms of, as as much as Deadshot, he can use anything around him as a weapon. Deadshot, Deadshot doesn't necessarily have that um, ability, aside from just having guns. So, I, that's why I give him energy production and versatility, X-Factor. Act factor is simply this. In terms of marksmanship, I'd have to say Bullseye and Deadshot are amongst the best out of all comics, period, and all of comic book out of all comic book characters, easily. However, based on what I've seen and heard of in terms of both characters, I'd have to say Bullseye can do the most ridiculous things. He is a better marksman than Deadshot, in my opinion, at least. Or he's a he can do more rather seemingly impossible tasks than Deadshot. As much as Deadshot can have the capability to do so, Bullseye can do it much better than most. So I'd have to give it to that. Because let's be honest here. If Deadshot, if Bullseye had, let's say, a tiny pebble, right? A tiny pebble that he could fit right through that. Because in, in reality, he Deadshot primarily uses this eye, right? So, 
if he used, let's say, a pebble. If he could flip, if he could get a pebble, throw it, like, ricochet it off of, like, some metallic surface and into Deadshot's primary eye, I guess you could say, he could probably do it. And in that way, you've pretty much almost neutralized him because without that, and if it actually, and if the, I guess, lens penetrates uh, Floyd's eye, that kind of impairs him. So, in my opinion, I'd have to say Bullseye could... And, 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 and to kind of debrief over what I just said, both like could finish this fight at any point in time. Deadshot typically needs an opening. Yes, he can plan things out and whatnot, but Bullseye doesn't necessarily need a plan to kill you. He just needs an opportunity. He just needs... He doesn't mean... He can just... I guess, how could I say it? He can do it whenever he feels the need to. Or whenever he wants to, I guess. How I don't know how else to say it, aside from the fact that he can kill, kill Deadshot at any time. With any weapon that he has at his disposal. So, yeah. But anyways... Um, again, uh, for those who don't know, I go off wikis, I definitely don't go off comic vines, um, but occasionally I will if I don't know both characters well enough, but I will not if, in case of these two, but, um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video, please, if you'd like, subscribe, share, like the video, um, and... If I made any mistakes or if you have any sort of insight that I obviously did not express in this video, please do so in the comment section below and have a good day.